Hey there, just want to share a quick tip with you today. So essentially, um, if you're writing an email or a campaign, you're going to have a signature at the bottom of the email. Usually, it's going to be a static signature, meaning that whatever you put in there will be in there. But with time, let's say you have a new domain or you have a new uh, phone number or a new email, you need to go and change every single email you have inside of the automations. So to avoid this issue, what we do is the following. Go to campaigns, then you go to manage variables. And I already created that here, but uh, all you need to do is add and this um, little uh, thing is gonna open for you. And uh, you can put the name uh, that you want in here, personalization name. Then uh, in personalization tag, once again, uh, put something that will make sense because this is what you're actually going to use. Uh, and then um, put your signature here. So something to keep in mind is that whatever you put in here will be uh, used for your signature, but most importantly, uh, the, the font and the color and everything uh, will be exactly the same as you put in here. Okay. So do you know when you will you, you use sorry? What, do you know when you use a uh, first name uh, in the beginning of the email? You're like first name, uh, and then you just like keep going with the the body of the email itself. Um, essentially, we are doing the same. Instead of being first name, it's going to be whatever the name you put in here. Okay. So this needs to be configured in here in terms of font and color and size and so on, okay? So once you finish that, go here and go add. In this case, because I already have it, it's saying update, all right? So then you can go to your email. In this case, for me, it's a campaign, but it could be any email inside of an automation uh, or a campaign. Right. And then as you can see here, this is what I did, right? So I put percentage and uh, what I had there for the name of the variable itself. So when I send an email, um, the, these, this particular thing, uh, the variable will be replaced with the actual signature. So if you're sending lots of emails and you have a signature, uh, it's a very good idea to have that. So then you don't need to continue, continually change the signature in every single email. So it's going to be a dynamic signature instead of a static signature. I hope it makes sense. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope if it's been useful. Cool. Take care. Have a good one.